for cheap gold, items and other boosts for Diablo 4, visit AOEAH.com. Check out the link in the description, you get 3% off with the code Ariad. Hello and welcome everybody. In this guide, I will show you an anti-meta mage build that plays without blizzard, but casts many more meteors. The general kill speed is not much worse than with the current meta sorg, the biggest difference can be noticed in boss fights. Nevertheless, it can be worth trying out this build, because the mechanics are something different and it's a lot of fun to play. I will present two different variants, one that shoots frost bolts and one that works with art lash. So in the first one we'll be playing flickering frost bolt, in my setting it has 78% lucky hit chance, that's nice to trigger additional meteors. The second variant has arc lash instead, only a few passive skills are set differently in the skill tree. Also one point in firebolt, we will use the enchantment effect. In the second cluster we put elemental dominance and in the next one shimmering flame shield, shimmering teleport and mystical frost nova. We also play ice armor without expansions and put 3 points each in elemental attunement and glass cannon. In the summoning cluster we skill the two death skills mana shield and protection and precision magic increases our lucky hit chance. Meteor of the mage is maximized and we play the two fire passive skills directly below. All the cold passive skills you see in the last two clusters are specifically for the frostbolt variant. If you play arc lash, take the four lightning passive skills from the last cluster instead. Finally our key passive is Esus Ferocity and we play Firebolt and Meteor in the enchantment slots. So basically all enemies we hit will burn and we trigger additional meteors on lucky hits. Especially when we hit several enemies at once, the chance of triggering a meteor is very good, both with Arc Lash and Frostbolt. Here you can see my Paragon system, it's quite similar to my Fireball build, that's because Meteor basically needs the same benefits. Our damage is direct fire damage and not burning damage over time. I have changed a few glyphs to give more stability. So we also take the damage reduction on the boards as well as the life nodes. In the starting board Elementalist, which has almost become standard in my builds. Then comes Searing Heat with Reinforced, that's how we get additional damage reduction on Barrier. In Frigid Fate I play Adept, the glyph increases the area of our meteors. Destruction is also very strong for the build, so I've put it in the Burning Instinct board. Then we continue with Enchantment Master and the glyph Flame Feeder. And finally Ice Fall with the glyph Control. Two glyphs you could also use instead would be Territorial for even more damage reduction against close or Exploit for extra damage to vulnerable. For the Arc Lash variant, the last board is Static Surge instead. You can play the central construct with different settings, depending on whether it should mainly support you or whether it should do a lot of damage itself. I play my support setting with Adrenaline here, but you could also use Firefly with Seeking, Multi-Shot and Piercing support instead. Finally the equipment. Very important is the new Starfall Coronet, the additional meteors make our attack more effective. Low cooldown time and high cooldown reduction are nice here and another good thing about this helmet is a high lucky hit chance. Then I play a completely defensive armor with the Juggernaut aspect, so my armor value is secured. On the gloves we really want to have attack speed, lucky hit and critical strike chance. We use the rapid aspect, which is great because we'll be shooting a lot with our basic attacks. Since the new patch you can also use Moonrise instead. Then comes the defensive pants with damage reduction and plus 4 to Meteor. Here we use the aspect of Might, which grants us additional damage reduction. I also play Flicker Step, 
mainly for the extra damage reduction against close enemies. But you could also pick some of the other unique boots or even a regular pair with movement speed, damage reduction when injured and plus 4 to flame shield. Then you could also add some more useful aspect. We play a wand with affixes like intelligence, all stats, critical strike damage and damage with masteries. Here I have the aspect of ancient flame which provides another speed boost. On the focus I play the aspect of shattered stars. Here we want to have some more lucky hit chance and cooldown reduction, but crit chance or attack speed with basic attacks are also useful. The rings are next fall in Tal Rasha's, because both give cooldown reduction and lucky hit chance. Last but not least the amulet. Here I have a defensive one with the aspect of three curses. If playing very carefully, you could also have cooldown reduction and or plus 3 to mastery skills on the amulet. The playstyle is very simple and convenient. We attack with the basic attack all the time, which has an enormous attack speed. This repeatedly triggers devastating meteor impacts. We also have two meteors on charge and the cooldown time should be around 4 seconds, so we can manually fire additional meteors in between. Then of course we have our defensive skills, the flame shield saves us from dicey situations and the frost nova freezes enemies and makes them vulnerable. We can use this both offensively and defensively. The teleport also makes us mobile and with the ice armor we can create an additional barrier. Thanks to the passive skill protection however, all cooldown skills create a barrier, so we can maintain this for the most time. The Frostbolt variant's advantage is that you can keep your distance to the monsters and also benefit from cold effects. We also have a high lucky hit chance of 78% here. With the Arc Lash on the other hand, you can benefit from the lightning passive skills, which give you movement speed, additional damage reduction and stun effects. Have fun tinkering and trying out, take care and may the loot be with you.
follow me. Thanks. Goodbye.